Hi everyone, welcome to Dee's Life. A couple of months ago, we decided to adopt a hamster. If you're thinking of getting one, please watch this video as I talk about the basic items you need in owning a hamster. Number one, you need a cage or enclosure. Please do not get a small cage like this. This is way too small. Rather, get something bigger and suitable for your hamster. Keep in mind that the bare minimum size for a hamster cage is 450 square inches. The bigger, the better. If you have the money, I would suggest getting an aquarium like this. 40 gallon would be the minimum. You can also get the IKEA Detoff, which is cheap and bigger. If you're on a budget, I would suggest getting a bin like this. There are so many DIY bin cage tutorials that you can check out. Number two, you need beddings or different substrate. Hamsters are ground burrowers, so they need something to burrow. I would suggest getting a paper bedding like this, Katie Clean and Cozy. It's very soft. You can also use coconut fiber like this usually used by reptiles and also aspen bedding like this stay away from pine and cedar shavings those are not safe for your hamster you can also use haze like this orchard grace hay you can use this as a layer to your beddings just like this Number three, food and water. Hamsters are omnivores. Their main diet consists of seed mix like this, some pellets. You can also give them fresh fruits and vegetables, even boiled chicken or eggs. I would also suggest getting dried herbs like this. This one has alpha alpha, Petals, rosemary, chamomile, basil, parsley, and dandelions. These are very good for their health. You can also give them sprays and millets, and they are good for foraging. You may also need a water dish like this, or just a plain water bottle. Number four, you need an exercise wheel. In the wild, hamster can run up to 9 kilometers per night. Since your hamster is in a cage, he is unable to do this. That's why exercise wheel is a must. You should get the right size. For dwarf and robo hamsters, you need at least 8 inches to 10 inches. For Syrian, 10 to 12 inches is recommended. Number 5. Hideouts and Tunnels Hamsters are fright animals so they need a place to hide when they feel scared. You can get this kind of hideout. This is just a plastic dome from Living World. It comes in different colors. This is suitable for any kinds of hamster. But personally, I like natural hideouts like this. Alpha Alpha Covered Hay. Yeah, call Alpha Alpha Covered Hay Tunnel. And also, this bendy bridge that you can use as a hideout. Number six, chew toys. Your hamster's teeth doesn't stop growing, so they need something to chew on. I would suggest getting a whimsy chew toy like this. This is a dog chew, but it's safe if you like to give this to your hamster. This is the only chew Mr. Jack likes. You can also get willow balls like this or a carrot. Different kinds of chew toys is recommended. You can also give them a nibbler stick like this. And this walnut. My hamster loved this. Number seven, sand bath. Just like cats, hamsters groom themselves 
by licking and scratching their body. Please don't give your hamster a water bath. Instead, they would enjoy cleaning themselves in a sand bath like this. You can use play children's play sand or a recti sand like this. Make sure there's no added dyes or chemicals or calcium in it. And I would also suggest to put a hideout in your sand bath, just like this terracotta pot. As you can see, he likes to pee in there. And also for this video, we will do unboxing or hamster haul from Amazon. So we will start with this one. This one is the Rosewood Nature's Natural Salad. It has 21 tasty and healthy dried herbs. It has oat flakes, marigold, pea flakes, carrots, parsley, dandelions, burst maize, edible leaves, corn flowers, rose petals, peppermint, maize flakes, melissa, red clover, and so much more. Yeah, so, um, this one, like the box is a little bit wrecked here. So, this, so this is the, this is the chamber I got. Um, it's the Night Angel 3 Chamber Hideout. One of the peas came out, came off. So, it's really good chamber. Because the one that I've been, the one that I've been using in my cage right now is just a um, chamber that I got from Dollar Store. Um, so that's just a temporary, so I got my hamster a chamber, and I'm so excited to use this for him. Asa. Hamster. Meet Mr. Jack. Asa. Hamster. Asa. Right. Hamster, that's right. Hi, Mr. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> you can see he likes to poop in there so he poop here and he peed in this <coughs> pot terracotta pot say hi mr jack he has a tiny cheese little cheese in there and some of the herbs and seeds Hamster, where's the hamster? My son loves to watch Mr. Jack at night. But that means we had to stay really late for us to see Mr. Jack. He's hiding there in his little house. Hi, Mr. Jack. <laughs> He's singing. So this is his cage. I'm gonna make a separate um video on his uh, cage tour. Where did he go? Oh, he's still there. Good night, Mr. Jack. Good night. Say good night. Say good night. Mr. Jack. That's his cage. Say bye, Mr. Jack. Good night. Oh, we need to. That's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video. Bye!